Hey guys, uh, this video I'm going to show you um, how Google Map can be very useful and you really do not need Wi-Fi or data to navigate. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you which one is Google Map. A lot of people don't know which logo is Google Map because they don't label Google Map, they label Maps. So this is Google Map, okay? And this is, basically this is the logo, okay? So, um, let's get started. Okay, so basically this is the Google Map. And I repeat one more time. Google Map is very, very different than iPhone Map. When you navigate, they really do not need any data or Wi-Fi, okay? The only thing they need to turn on is the GPS. But iPhone map, you need to turn on Wi-Fi or data to navigate. Uh, navigating, make sure you press this point right here. And make sure when you want to know uh, the point B, how to get there first, you make sure you're on somewhere with Wi-Fi first. Secondly is you go on the setting and make sure your GPS is turned on. And you press agree. On a different Android, they will have a different type of um, um, GPS. But uh, all you need to do is just like turn on the GPS on your phone and that's it. And Wi-Fi. So when you get back out there, GPS is on and you navigate where you want to go. Let's say I want to go on here. And make sure that this is the minute, not the word root. When you see the word root, means that you are not on GPS. Your GPS has not turned on yet. Once you see the minute right there, you click on the minutes, they will low what's the fastest way to go on. So you press, once you press start right here, you can actually turn off your Wi-Fi, GPS stays on, it will still navigate the way. I will show you right now. Third way, then turn right onto Willingdon Avenue. As you see right now, I'm still driving, Wi-Fi is off. There's no Wi-Fi. GPS is still on, but they still able to navigate while I'm driving. After a long 20 minutes, so right now it's like 26 minutes left to the point B, and uh, it's still navigating without using Wi-Fi, and GPS is still on. Right Apparently there was a cop there, but uh, no big deal because he's just driving past. So right now there's only one minute left to destinations and that's uh, Vancouver um, Oak Ridge Mall. Um, so, uh, so yeah, that's it. One minute left. Um, I reached to my point B without using my Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi up there. Only GPS was on. And uh, still no, still everything. So uh, once you reach your destinations, they will give you this, um, the whole thing like this, um, telling you you already reached your destinations. Um, so this is how you um, navigate point A to point B uh, without using data and Wi-Fi. The second things I want, second thing I want to talk about is offline map. Offline map is basically a map that. They just run offline without using Wi-Fi or using data and you still can navigate or at least know where you're at. So let's say pretend you're going on a trip and you don't know exactly where you're at and you don't know where is that place, you don't even know anything about that place. You can actually search that place and set it to offline map. And once you have that offline map, you just need to press this button right here, the GPS. They can actually track it down exactly where you're at without using like 
ADA or Wi-Fi. So right now, I'm going to teach you how to do an offline map. Very, very, very simple example. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi. At home, you already have Wi-Fi. Maybe McDonald's, maybe Starbucks, maybe Blends. Anywhere that has Wi-Fi, you can go on Wi-Fi and do this. So I'm going to search Hong Kong. Okay. And they're going to bring me all the way back to Hong Kong. All right. All the way back. Now, let's say this Hong Kong map, I really want to uh, keep a copy because maybe I don't even know how to, I don't even know anything about Hong Kong. Right at the bottom right here, you just go back, delete the words that you type, delete everything, leave it blank here. Right at the bottom here, it will be say, it will say make this map area available offline. Basically, the whole area here, they already have a history in the map. See? On the screen, map area has been. So it's basically is already inside the phone already. Let's say you take out the SIM card. Let's say you have no Wi-Fi. Let's say you have no data. Everything on there, it will be still there. Okay? Um, let's say like you you are actually inside right there setting at one of the point right there and you turn on the GPS okay and turn on it the, and then press this button right here and pretend there's no Wi-Fi they will actually still can track you down where you exactly are okay so right now I'm going to prove to you okay no Wi-Fi no data Okay, I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi right now. Turn off the Wi-Fi, so no more Wi-Fi right here now. See that? Right there, no Wi-Fi. And I just turn on my GPS. GPS still on right there. And I just need to press this button. Press this button. No data, no Wi-Fi. And they can still track me now by knowing where am I right now. So now they're going to, try, they're going to go all the way back to Vancouver. And this is where I'm at right now. And I don't even need to go on Wi-Fi or data. And that's it. So uh, that's my tutorial for uh, Google Map. Hope you now understand more about the Google Map. You don't need to buy GPS. You don't need to um, um, worry about like how to get to point A to point B. Sometimes people may ask you where you exactly are right now and you don't know how to answer them, this is where, you know, Google Map comes. Uh, just make your life more simpler, okay? So I hope you like my video. Um, I will post the next video very soon. Thank you, bye-bye. One more thing, please do not do this when you're driving. Please buy a dashboard, okay? Dashboard, please.